What is going on everyone, my name is Jot Saiyan and I just want to bring you guys some quick update relating to Season 2 DLC for Dragon Ball Fighters. So, most of you guys may not like this news that has come out, including myself. I I'm a little bit annoyed with the way they're going along with this DLC for Season 2 um, for Dragon Ball Fighters, but hey, at least we're getting more DLC. But anyway, if you guys don't know yet, Earlier today, we got news from Bano Nanko that actually tweeted something out relating to the release date for the CZ2 DLC. Sir, so we got all the release date and what to expect from those DLC. But anyway, I'm going to put it on screen right now. I also translate the release date so you guys can see for yourself. So, the very top bit, you guys already know that's the DLC that we got from basically Fidel and um and Jiren so we already got that DLC is already out but below that we got the next DLC which will be Broly and Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta which will be releasing on April 25th 2019 honestly that's pretty close to my birthday so I'm, I'm a little bit happy with that but if you guys been know if you guys noticed something weird about the between the dates of this release date you will notice that is really really weird how they're actually stretching out these DLC release day. If you play season one or if you got the season one DLC, the release date for each DLC was not really so it wasn't really so far apart from each other. It usually takes about one or two months for them to release the next DLC. But for this DLC season two, it's really really weird how they're stretching it out. It's almost like the end of the year because the final DLC will be November 28th, 2019, and we got September and, and July. It's really weird. And to be honest, I think I kind of understand why they're doing this. And I think I know why they're doing this. My this is just my opinion, guys. I think the reason why they're basically stretching out this DLC is the fact that they're still trying to get um figure out who to add into the game. And one of the big reasons why I think they're also stretching this out is the fact that we know we are gonna be getting a brand new Dragon Ball game this year, 2019, which is Dragon Ball Z project z i think the reason why they're doing this stretching this dlc as the fact that they really want people to still be interested into this game they want people to still be playing dragon Ball fighters so that's why they're basically stretching as a dlc to basically keep us you know uh, alert or keep us on the edge of our seat to know when to you know dlc can release and what whatever i think that's one of the main reason why they're stretching this dlc out so we can be more so we can invest our time more into this game before the new dragon Ball game come out but that's just my opinion what do you guys think about this are you guys happy that we're getting more dlc honestly i'm happy but i'm a little bit disappointed the way they're going along with this how they're stretching this out but hey i really don't care as long as they give me um, you know the character i want in the dlc i'm happy you know i just pray that they give up master roshi you know in one of these dlc and also janemba i will be really happy but I want you guys to share your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys agree? Are you guys still excited about this DLC? And um, also to please subscribe to the channel guys if you guys are new. Or really help out the channel grow. Turn on notification. And share your thoughts in the comment section below guys. My name is Justin. Have an amazing day. I will see you all later guys. Peace out.